people and welcome back to my channel and back to spooky week this is video number two and in today's video obviously as you can tell by the title my makeup and the ball behind me i'm going to be showing you how i transformed myself into this crazy clown makeup this makeup in itself was actually super simple so that's always great as well so let's just stop rambling and get right onto the video Alrighty, so as you can see, my base makeup is done and I am going in with the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette and I'm first starting off with the shade Breakaway and I am applying that all over my lid just to set it so it's ready for the look. And then I am taking the color Weekender and I am just taking that into my crease, using that as a transition shade to build up this darker smoky eye that we're going to be doing. Next, I'm dipping into the shade Riff and I'm also just putting that into my crease to build up on the crease color. Just make sure to blend it really well with the other shade. And then I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush and I'm going to be using the color Punk and I'm going to be taking that on my outer V and bringing it into my crease and just blending it in really well with all those other shades on my eyes. And you wanna be focusing as much as possible on punk because you do want this to be quite a dark and smoky eyeshadow look. Then I'm just taking a very big blending brush and I'm just blending those three shades together just to alleviate any harsh lines and to smoke those colors out as we are going for a dark smoky eye. For me, I did just want to add a little bit of breakaway back onto the lid just so there is some contrast between the dark smoky eye and the lid. And then I'm just going to be taking punk under my eyes and smoking that out and then I also use the shade Riff again to blend under my eyes and smoke that out as well. The great thing about this eye look is it doesn't have to be super neat. Um, because I just feel like clown makeup never is super neat. The more messy it is, the more hectic the look is, the more crazy the clown you'll look. So it doesn't have to be super neat or clean. And I'm just taking that large blending brush again and blending under my eyes and just making sure everything's blended in together. Then I quickly went off camera and did a little wing I didn't want to do a really big wing to take away from the lines we're about to do on the face but I do just love a winged eyeliner I'm also going to be applying these falsies whilst I'm off camera these are the Ardell extension FX false eyelashes they are quite dramatic lashes so that's why I picked them for this look so now I'm just taking some powder and popping that under my eyes before I apply any mascara. So I'm just using my Flower Beauty mascara here and I'm just applying that to my bottom eyelashes and I also do apply some to my top eyelashes to blend my natural eyelashes in with the eyelash extensions. And then I'm just doing another coat of the Damn Girl Too Faced Mascara and focusing that on my bottom lashes. Going in with this red pencil liner that I have and I'm just doing a rough sketch of where I want the red makeup to be on my face. Like I was saying before, the best thing about clown makeup is this doesn't have to be even. It can be quite uneven if you want to do that. If anybody has seen the movie The Joker, <laughs> his smile one side was a lot larger than the other. So I wasn't really going for even. I was just going for getting the lines on the face. So I just take it from my lip and then I'm going up to my eye and then I'm doing a line above my eyebrow. Now I'm just going into the James Charles palette and I'm using the shade You're Kidding and I'm just going over the lines that I've already done just to make them a bit more thick and prominent on my face. So you'll see I'm going from the eyes down to my lip and then I'm also doing the line above my eyebrow. 
And I just kind of ended up turning the eyebrow one into a triangle. I actually quite liked that better than just the straight line. It kind of happened on accident, but I ended up really liking it. So I made them both triangles. And before I set anything into place, I'm just taking a little bit of my bronzer and bronzing my face. I know I'm meant to look like a clown um, and be white as possible, but I still wanted to have some dimension to my face. So I added a tiny bit of bronzer. I'm just applying some chapstick on my lips just because we're about to put some dark red lipstick on them so i just wanted them to be nice and hydrated and i'm now taking the lip liner and applying it to my lips and i'm also drawing a circle on my nose because you want to have that classic clown red nose and now i'm going in with this designer brand lip stain and i'm first just applying it to my lips and then i took a brush and I started to apply it on my face. This applied so well and so easily. I loved using a lip stain for this because it is a bit more liquidy than a lipstick or a liquid lipstick. Um, but I would just be careful about using this on your face as well as it did take a couple washes to get it off because it's stained a little. But again, you can use a lipstick or a liquid lipstick for this step. You don't have to use a lip stain. And so I'm just applying it to my cheeks, my lips, my nose, my eyebrows. And then one of the most important things I found was connecting the lines you've made on your face to your lips. So it looks like one big smile. And like I said, this is a very messy makeup look, so it doesn't need to be perfect. The messier, the better. And now I'm just going in with my Anastasia highlighting palette again, and I'm taking the color Ice Blue, I believe it's called. It's the top highlighter, the lightest one, and I'm just adding a bit of highlight to my face. And then I'm just setting it all in place with the Morphe X Madison Beer Illuminating Setting Spray. And this is the final look. This look is super simple, but it's so hectic how it changes your face and you really do look like a crazy clown in the end. So this is just a montage of me showing off my makeup to you guys. Alrighty, that was the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys really, really liked it. If you create this for your Halloween look, please make sure to tag me. I would love to see your recreation of this look. I think it's absolutely insane. I love it. Also, let me know down in the comments if you've ever gone to a Halloween party dressed as a clown or what you wore for Halloween last year. I would love to know. If you did enjoy this video and you've been enjoying this series, please, please, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified every single time that I post. And I will see you beautifuls for spooky week number three. Bye, guys.